good morning today we are going to start the assembly modeling exercise so uh, in this particular exercise all the drawings of the each and L, every element is given so first uh, when whenever we do uh, such kind of exercises we have to start uh, in such a way that uh, the remaining dimensions can be quickly maintained so in this case what I am going to do is I will start from uh, this particular small part which is the uh, uh, the part which is uh, coming here and uh, will start from <laughs> this particular exercise right so this is 20 mm length and 16 mm um, height so let us start so right click here new component and give the name as so double click here each and every component you have to name so I'm going to give as V support V V support V support V support okay then enter so on this plane right click create a sketch just to draw a, a rectangle that is having 16 and the length is 20 so the next uh, so let us uh, how we can maintain this so just to come here and check the assembly view okay assembly view okay we will okay don't worry so otherwise what we can do is uh, we can see the entire size and their size is something like uh, 60 by uh, 45 so just to draw a uh, 60 by 45 or here so we'll centralize and make this centralize the rectangle here so go here dimension so this is uh, this by 2 divided by 2 similarly this also so give the dimension here this d2 divided by 2 then I'm going to I'm not going to make a sketch directly here then I will go here uh, then extrude so this uh, symmetric and the whole length is 15 15 here so 15 is the height then we'll uh, come here create sketch then just as draw a small center line here select the line and press X then we'll draw a small line over here then mirror it mirror this line we will mirror okay then we'll draw line from here to we will complete the figure like this then check for the dimensions so quickly we'll check for the dimensions it is from here to here 10 and 90 degree okay so from this edge to here it is 10 10 10 here so it is not moving okay let me do one thing so let me delete this this also let me delete okay then give the something like this so horizontal vertical you can give horizontal vertical here then now let us give this from this edge to this point it is 10 and here uh, 90 degree here 90 degree 
90 then let us So let me do one more thing. So this ninety degree. So let me give first this angle. So this also I will maintain ninety degree. So we'll give 90 degree. Aye. So I delete this uh, then here uh, 90 degree. So I'll delete this once again and I will make a fresh one. So let me So let me delete this once again here. I'll start a fresh one. So from here So now we will give first symmetry, symmetry here, this both the line is symmetrical about this, then we will give the angle, this is 90 degree, so I think uh, somewhere I made a mistake. So this is 15, so that is why, okay. So here I want to cancel it. So this let me delete once again, okay. Let me delete this also, delete, then draw again. okay so this parallel I will delete parallel I don't want parallel here then this dimension this dimension I want to maintain as 90 degree without losing anything then coincident coincident I want to make coincident both then uh, this both I want to maintain equal this also I want to maintain equal then horizontal vertical this point okay already it is there now I want to maintain the dimension here that is okay from this edge to here it is 15 15 is there then one more dimension should be there it's 90 degree 15 so from here to here also it should be 90 degrees so that also will give so from here to this also 90 degree then let us uh, draw this so let us draw a, a sketch outside so that I will get a closed one it is not a compulsory okay just to draw a figure like this then let us uh, for the time being give something equal okay then give uh, okay not required finish sketch now go and uh, select extrude select the entire sketch here now change the direction then this all then okay Wow. Go here, edit feature. Then OK. So now we will do one more thing. Here also we will 
uh, either you can make a hole so let us make a hole here so before that we will create a point so just to go here create point here finish sketch and uh, what is the diameter of the hole is a uh, die 6 to a depth of 10 mm so hole select the point die 6 to a depth of 10 mm then ok now here die 3 die 3 some we have to make uh, through so we will make the so we will go to the top view here ok then come here come here and select the xy plane right click create sketch then draw a circle of diameter 3 then use horizontal vertical constraint to align horizontally then this dimension we have to find out from some other place so here it is given for so and uh, from here this is 40 this is 10 so from here it is 6 so why not we will make it 5 so we will make it 5 then if uh, it is required we will add it later so let me give the dimension as 5 finish sketch then extrude this is uh, two symmetric uh, or two sides two sides this extend all the other extend also all then ok we can turn off the origin uh, so we will give small chamfer for this uh, edge also chamfer here we will give a small chamfer 0 0.5 0 0.5 chamfer will give so that uh, that is over now we can make the main body this uh, so we have now uh, we we are getting already the reference of this small edge now we can make the outer body here that is having 6045 so we'll uh, we'll extrude 6045 first so right click here new component and uh, say let us give this as body body then turn on the origin here so come here xy plane right click create a sketch then let us draw a center rectangle center rectangle 45 press tab 60 so finish sketch finish sketch then extrude extrude symmetric then the height is 15 then ok now we will make the cut here on this face right click create sketch so now let us make so from here it we can you can click and drag to uh, make the arc together with it so we will draw a small shape like this then we'll add a tangent relation tangent relation with this then we can give the dimensions one by one so first we will give the radius this is R18 
so that we will give later okay so let me check what is what are all the this is 15 so 7.5 so here Fifteen by two. Four into forty five. So here four and uh, this angle is forty five degree. sorry sorry I made mistake again okay uh, okay um, we will just uh, ignore this so total length should be how much that information also uh, okay 25 plus uh, so 25 plus 25 50 plus 40 90 so let me uh, edit this finish sketch so first let me edit the first sketch edit sketch so this is I will make it as uh, 90 then finish sketch now I can edit this sketch so here so actually I can I have started from here but uh, I should have started from this edge that is why I modified uh, this uh, total dimension to 90 and uh, now from here 30 I can give 30 from the center dimension from this here to here I can give it as 30 then what I will do I will project these edges press P press P and select this edge as well as this edge then OK so I, I made this sketch properly then finish sketch then go to extrude select this area change the direction then distance all then ok now I can mirror it go to create mirror this faces pattern type I will change to features then select the extrude here then mirror plane select this plane then ok similarly on the other side also create mirror features uh, this extrude feature and mirror feature then mirror plane is this particular plane then ok so now let us uh, make a hole so now or uh, we will make the this particular portion now right this particular portion that is uh, 40 by 16 so on this face right click create sketch so let us draw a rectangle so let me draw one small center line also towards the midpoint here then this horizontal vertical so let me make this horizontal vertical then select the line and press X then click on the screen then this dimension I will give as 16 then say this we will give as 20 so let let us delete uh, ok we'll draw f so let me delete this delete then draw line So horizontal vertical for through this also will make horizontal vertical then equal 
this both I want to make equal then angle this angle I will maintain as 90 degree then this total length is 40 then let us say finish sketch now we can go for extrude select this sketch then change the direction then distance here all so this time you can see here objects to cut it is uh, going to cut the V support also so just you select this deselect this then ok so that the the cut will happen only on the body so now we can give the chamfer modify chamfer so let me give chamfer on these four edges first so let us say one then we'll give some small fillet so that our selection also will happen very quickly so let us select all the sharp edges and give some small fillet So shall we give one mm? Okay, one mm fillet we have given. Now we will select this, modify chamfer, select this edge as well as this edge, and give the value as one mm. So done it. Now here there is a hole here also as well as okay. We will go to the default orientation and uh, check the drawing once again so this is a through hole m8 so so why not we will go here right click create sketch then create a point point just at the center of this then go to hole select the point here then this we will change to 8 then here we will go the extends go to 2 and select this face then ok then uh, we will make a chamfer or we will make chamfer later create thread select this hole and give the value m8 into 1.25 ok similarly on this side also you go here right click create a sketch just create a point point here finish sketch then hold select this point here this time the depth it is not a through hole uh, the depth is given as uh, it is given as uh, how much 22 so we'll give 22 as the depth here 22 then ok now you can go here create thread select this fa whole face here then remove full length and give the value as 17 17 depth it is given then ok now we will give chamfer for those holes also modify chamfer so both both the edges so let's give one mm so let us turn off the origin for this also so two objects completed two bodies uh, two components completed
uh, is there any other detail missing no so now we will uh, use the, uh, this handle this particular handle is coming on the left hand side so we will give the name as left handle so we will give the name as left handle so right click here new component and give the name as left handle left side handle or anything you can give then we will go here xy plane right click and create a sketch so now draw a small center line okay we will draw somewhere here select the line press x click on the screen then use coincident this line I want to coincide this with this origin alright then draw the profile for revolve draw the revolve profile correctly then first what we will do we will edit the this groove so we will give this groove dimension as 1 mm and 1 mm depth so this is one and the depth also we will give from here we will give one mm depth one then we will give fillet say some fillet here it's point three now we can give the dimension dimension from here to this diameter dimension and give this as 8 similarly here also diameter dimension as 10 coincident this line is coincident with this point this much we have to give so we were making the model of uh, this particular item uh, so here 15 and uh, this to uh, this total length is 75 this is 15 and uh, I think uh, okay from here to here this is 75 here this is 75 okay this is 75 here this is 75 now we can give this this particular when we tied something uh, this particular face will come and butt over this face so we can give horizontal vertical this point and this point we can give horizontal vertical okay then finish sketch revolve then select the axis here so we will select the axis then make it ok and one more thing we will give the chamfer also chamfer here 1 into 45 1 
then here modify chamfer on these two edges we will give 0.5 into 45 then one more thing we will give uh, thread create thread m8 m8 into 1.25 okay so that much is done uh, this knurling and all uh, it is uh, not recommended uh, it's very difficult also to know uh, to show the knurling operation so we will make the next item so next item is this particular item this one so this is also having similar dimensions to the previous one but here this length is 40 so let us draw this okay t50 something like this okay so again we will select here right click new component then this is right side handle right 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 side handle something like this uh, you can give then again we will select the okay no need to on the origin so we will select the xy plane right click create sketch now draw a small line uh, anywhere here select the line and press press X click on the screen then horizontal vertical this time we are going to give horizontal vertical with this origin then draw the cross section once again so let me roughly make the cross section so everything we will make and one single revolve we will we will make so first uh, let us give the uh, dimension for this this dimension we will give one and uh, here also this depth also we will give as 1 so we will give this dimension then uh, you can give a coincident so this point and this point will make so oh no 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 will give coincident this line and uh, this point will make coincident okay next uh, so let me extend this little bit then uh, next we will make the length one by one so this is 50 40 so dimension here this is 50 and from here to this edge it is 40 75 so from here to this edge this is 75 extend this again so now we will give the dimension one by one so here select the center line 
and select this edge right click diameter dimension and give the value as 6 I think it is 6 dia 6 then next it is dia 8 so select the center line select the line right click diameter dimension and give the value as 8 select to the center line select the outer line right click diameter dimension and give the value as 10 now let us uh, so now let us give the dimension one more dimension here so let me give this 4 so how much this from the center of the hole towards the edge it is 4 So we have to delete this anyway. This is uh, so undo. So from the so uh, we will give from the center here. So dimension. from the origin to here we will give say something like 1 mm now just uh, we will check whether our dimension is correct or not press P select the edge then OK select this and press X construction line let me check what is the dimension from here if it is 4, ah, ok, that is 4 showing it is 4, so it should be ok x so I want to delete uh, that dimension so what I am going to do is I am just to turn off going to turn off all these things then this uh, come here on this sketch edit sketch select this then press X then click on the screen ok then we will revolve it revolve then axis sorry revolve revolve axis is here then ok I will chamfer it modify chamfer here 1 and uh, remaining everywhere I will give 0 0.5 chamfer here some 0.5 now I can turn on the sketch then on the XY plane create a sketch then use the uh, this circle here so let me turn off the body so I can see the uh, circle right so that uh, circle reference is available press P and select this circle then OK then I can turn off the uh, turn off the sketch and turn on the body 
then finish sketch then extrude these two sides then all other also all then ok then I can on the other bodies so now let us give a thread for this create thread so here this is m8 into 1.25 now one more thing here there is a there should be a locking pin so that is the last uh, uh, new component and uh, give the name as lock pin then again so this time this time what I am going to do is I am going to select this plane so I think before that what we will do we will create a axis for this so construct axis then ok so I have made the axis reference axis here now what I can do is I can select this plane select this plane right click create sketch now I have the axis so select this press P we can project it press P and select this uh, axis then ok so I'll get the line projected. Now I can turn off the this axis is not required now. Select this line and press X. Now we will draw a line a rectangle. Say we will draw a rectangle. The distance here is 15. And this is coincident on this axis here then let us say we will draw arc three point arc then we will trim it arc three point arc here also we will make both three point arc okay just uh, a, a pin with uh, some uh, some now we can give once again the dimensions let us give the dimensions here right click diameter dimension and this is 6 and uh, this total length is 15 so give some value for this radius say R3 2 these dimensions are not important so just give some dimension so 2 now we will give the dimension here so this is coincident this point is coincident over on this edge then finish sketch so revolve axis this axis then ok
so let me check whether uh, the dimension is correct 15 okay okay here it is uh, okay no problem uh, so add one more time so let me edit this sketch okay so it is not uh, 6 uh, it is dia 3 so edit my sketch able to select this okay this is three one point five So this uh, I will change to say something like 1.4. Similarly, I will add it uh, at the bottom also. This I will give one. This also I will give make it as one. Then finish sketch. Now we can uh, activate here the main assembly here. So this is the assembly of our tap wrench. So now how to add joints. So let us say we want to uh, make this particular uh, body as our ground. So what we can do is we can select this right click then make it ground so now this will not move okay next uh, say we want to um, so I uh, just uh, assem uh, just we will assemble this uh, that's all uh, uh, now next we will give as assemble as built joint select this and this particular part then ok again assemble as built joint this and this pin then ok again assemble as built joint this and this shaft ok assemble as built joint this particular item and this as ok so now you can see that this everything is uh, the you cannot move anything um, so that's all about the assembly modeling uh, of a simple type wrench the remaining things we will discuss in the next lecture thanks for watching